have Heather here today. Um, she is growing out a shorter haircut. Um, Heather has a thicker density of hair. She has a good bit of hair. It's more finely textured. Um, she has a 14 inch layered halo that we're gonna install. Um, the layered halos are, they have 30% more, more hair than the originals. They are great for um, those of you who are wanting to grow out your shorter haircuts. Um, when you're like in that in-between stage, um, great for, you know, ladies who have thicker hair. Um, they do work also with ladies that have the finer hair. It just really depends on the texture hair, how much hair you have. Um, so, uh, let me show you the inside of the halos. So, you have your weft here. The layered halos are going to have a thicker, like, band left here. Then you have your miracle wire here. And then you have a hook on each side. So, ladies, this is very similar to, um, like, a bra. Um, you will move it in to make it tighter, move it out to make it more loose. The wires are totally customizable. We did a custom um, wire on Heather. It really just depends on the diameter of, of your head. Okay. So I just want to show how simple this installation is. It literally takes minutes um, to install. Um, the Halo Couture Halos are completely damage free, which everybody knows I'm like huge on healthy hair. I love healthy hair. I love shiny hair. So this is like by far a great product that I have really enjoyed having and really love working with. So um, I want to basically show you how you install them yourself at home. You can uh, start out one to three inches back from your hairline. So you want to part your hair. I like to go with one inch. Um, so let's go one inch from your hairline here. We're going to go one inch back. And then you're going to take both your fingers and you're going to draw like a halo on the head. Those of you with shorter hair, shorter layers, you don't want to go down too far in the back with your halo. Um, just really where the, the, the head starts to have the bend. You want to work in a clean line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but a clean line. So you're going to take this hair here, and we're going to clip it to the top. Okay. So this hair that we went back one inch, you're going to leave it down. You can see that. So we're going to take her halo, and again, this is a 14-inch um, layered halo, and we're going to start with um, the, the weft in the back. You know, I like to do back to front. We're going to drop that miracle wire right there in that area that we sectioned off, and then this is going to drop down. Once you get it in place, you don't have to fidget with it or anything. You're going to drop this section down right on top of it, okay? So your natural hair will be over top of the weft. You're going to take your Halo Couture comb, and each halo comes with one of these. You're going to go right here to the front, and you're going to take this hair, and you're going to go right over that wire. Now this helps lock it in and also helps... Blend it even more seamless. And then you're going to go right back to where you part. So you can kind of see. Okay. Then you're going to take your Halo Couture extension brush. Now you only want to use the extension brush on the halos. Basically, going to brush your hair into the halo. I like to kind of hold the weft and your hair together. I'm just going to brush it into it. Now, Heather wears her hair straight, so we're keeping her halo straight. They are 100% human Remy hair, so 
They can be curled. You can put wave in them. Um, whatever you, however you like to wear it. Basically, your hair is going to melt into the halo, so it'll be seamless. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm just brushing her hair into the halo. And I'm going to show you how beautiful this looks. And how easy. Okay. So you can kind of see, look how much length. And this is the 14 inch layered. She has all that length. What you see that? All that length. So natural, so pretty, so shiny. I love these. Okay, and basically to uninstall, simple. You find your wire, you just take your finger, place it under it, and then just real gently remove it. So simple, easy, no damage, wear it when you want. Okay.